tonight on Super Nanny. Amy and Justin have four children. You, back inside. I love my kids, and I feel like I'm exhausted. We had a big scare with Rio. She didn't even blister. Her skin was just gone. It was a mistake that I made. I'm feeling an apprehension yeah. of leaving the babies. It's a trust issue. It's a trust issue, and yeah. then also... And a I control. Um, hey, look at she me. She can't get away with everything for the rest of her life because of an accident. <laughs> Today I'm in Chandler, Arizona, and I'm here to help the Sutherland family. Amy and Justin have four children, all under the age of four. <laughs> there was a severe accident that happened in the family. So now Amy doesn't feel confident at all with all four children, and she doesn't know how to make that situation better. No yelling, please. I'm Justin. I'm Amy. And we're the Sutherlands. I was an ICU nurse, but right now I'm a stay-at-home mom. Hey, hey, hey. I am a sales manager at a car dealership. One day I decided to go buy my dream car and... I sold it to her. I gave her a great deal. <laughs> We got engaged three months later, married two, two months, months later, later, and then... We had Jet. Jet. <laughs> Jet feels emotions deeply. So if he's happy, he is ecstatic. <laughs> if he is sad, he is miserable. <laughs> and the twins, Tex and Crosby, they are like herding cats. <sighs> someone's awake, someone's gotta eat. Who has to go to the bathroom? Who needs their diaper changed? Rio is sassy. If she's angry, she's gonna hit or bite you. Sissy, no! It's hard to discipline her because we had a big scare with Rio. She was nine months old at the time. I was washing her up in the sink and I felt the water turn steaming, boiling hot. I looked over at the cold handle and she'd completely turned it off. By that point, she didn't even blister. Her skin was just gone. We took her to our county burn center, but it was really, really painful, and it was just too much for her. And she completely stopped breathing. My baby girl was gone at that point. Luckily, we were able to get her back, but it was a mistake that I made. Like, I hurt my baby. <laughs> Something I have to live with forever. Rio's accident has made Amy a lot more cautious. I feel like she's overprotective. Let's take those off. You're making me nervous. I don't like to have them out of my sight because of the dangers of just everyday life. Sit down on your bum. You're gonna fall and get hurt. Like, and it sounds so crazy when I say it out loud, but like, I, in my head, think like, this could be the last time I see them. Amy does not let anybody watch the kids. So when I'm at work, she's got four kids to, to wrangle all by herself. I feel overwhelmed. But it's hard for me to accept help because I'm a prideful person. I don't want people to think that like I can't do it on my own. Hey, 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 hey. Give it back to her. It's not sustainable. Don't like the window. Why would you do that? Parenting is more difficult than we thought. It sounds bad to say like we've bit off more than we can chew, but four babies in two and a half years, it just seems impossible. Daddy's makeup? Yeah. My cheeks? Thank you. Nanny <laughs> Joe's coming today. I'm excited for it. I'm welcoming of it. But I'm still nervous. Oh. Who is it? Ah. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you coming? Are you? Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Justin. Hi, Justin. And who's this little one here? This is Crosby. Which means you're Tex. Yes. Is this Rio? Hello, Rio. And where's Jet? Oh, he's hiding. This is my observation day. I'm glad you're home. Absolutely. Because I know you work really long hours. Yes. Dad would normally be at work full time, which does leave Mum at home with all of the four children. But I've asked him to be at home. Whilst I'm here, 
So what have you got planned today? Because whatever you've got planned, I want to roll with that. Okay, so we have swim um, yeah. soon. So the babies just got up. We have to feed them, change them, uh, get them right. ready. Okay. Um, Do you have set times then for when the kids eat? No. We don't really have set times for anything. Like they sleep when they're tired and then they normally eat like when they first get up. They go to sleep when they want to go to sleep. So yeah. you trust them that they know when they need to sleep. Yeah. yeah, normally like Jet falls asleep in our bed. And they go to bed at what time? Uh, 11, between 11 10, yeah, would be, would between be 10 and the night. The kids eat when they say that they're hungry and they just crash out and fall asleep when they say, I'm tired. There's no consistency and there isn't something that they're following, like a routine daily. They're not really getting the direction or the guidance that they need from their parents. We know there's a problem, but at the same time, it's going to be a problem to fix the problem. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be hard work. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a, a lot of work. I just think I want to do it better. You're very emotional right now. <laughs> so your gut instinct is pulling, going, I know something's off. Yeah. It's, there's, there's a lot. Can I ask you just to push through for a minute? Just... Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're feeling. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard. Because I feel like we can't give each one of them the attention that they need. Because we're so tired. And he's he was up till one o'clock, mm -hmm. you know, midnight before he went to work. I love my kids. I love spending time with my kids. And I feel like I can't give them all that because I'm tired, you know, I'm ready, I'm exhausted. And so then, in an ideal world, you want to be that dad that comes home and, and wants something. to play. Yeah. But actually the reality is when you get home, you're so knackered, you're like as parents raising four young children, they are very overwhelmed. You know, having one or two is is hard enough and then the arrival of twins takes it to a whole nother level. All right, Jet, we gotta go to swim. No! Rio, no, that's not nice. No hitting. No! Rio, Rio. Amy's really reluctant when it comes to being a little bit firmer with Rio to implement boundaries or follow through on consequence. And I think it really comes down to her own guilt for what happened with the accident. Let me see, sorry, Mama. No. All right. Good work out for you, Justin. Oh yeah. So today I'm off with the family to a swimming lesson. Say, so can you get the door, please, Daddy? Get the door, please, Daddy. <laughs> you bet. I'm sure shuttling around four kids can be overwhelming for Amy, but it's great that Dad is going to be present today, and so he can also give a helping hand. Have fun. Ready? <laughs> so you take the kids to swim in. Mm -hmm. In an ideal world, you would like to be doing what more of? I mean, we have a membership to the aquarium, we have a membership to the zoo, but I mean, we don't get to use them as much as we'd like because I wait for his days off. She um, couldn't do it herself. And then I think if one runs off and the other one goes the other direction. So it's speed, be scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeling out of control. Yeah, and then with a lot of people around. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you get out much? This, do you ever go out, the two of you? Like, your mums might come over or say one of your mums. No. Is that choice? I'd like to go out more. Absolutely. I'm feeling an apprehension yeah. of leaving the babies and you being away from the kids. Would that be spot on? Absolutely. Because that's what I'm feeling with you. Mm -hmm. Where's the anxiety? What's the fear? Uh, that something could happen. I mean, I know how hard it is for me to keep them all safe. Like, right. So, to so think because about... you struggle there, mm -hmm. you think, oh my God, how would that be for somebody yeah. else? Ready, Rio, go. Rio's accident and almost losing her. I felt like there was nothing that I could do to prevent it. Now, I'm a lot more cautious than I was. I like to do my best to control every single modifiable factor that I can. Right. Justin was very vocal about wanting to still go out, but I feel that's a difficult process for mum because clearly she feels a tremendous amount of guilt in what had happened with her looking after Rio. And I think the reason why she doesn't trust anybody else is because she's had a hard time trusting herself beyond what happened. Come on. Good job to Come you here. guys. Come here. Hi. Hi. 
So my parents are here to visit. Steve. Pleasure. Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Pleasure, Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. And uh, I'm curious to what Joe has to say to them, you know, to see what she brings out of my parents. Beautiful. Can I grab you for a quick word? Yes. So lovely out back here. Isn't it? Um, it's really great that, you know, Justin and Amy have you so near. Yes. But how much support do you get to give? Because I know she has a lot of anxiety about leaving the kids. I mean, I try to do as yeah. much as I can. It's hard, yeah. but I don't want to interfere. So Amy's a very headstrong person. And I know she just overworked. It's great that she's able to be with them. Yeah, to be home. But yeah. can she mentally stand that forever? You know, it's, yeah. it's hard. Justin's mum is around and has offered to take the kids. However, Amy is not willing to accept the help. No, 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 no. Even when she is struggling. And you can see that she needs it. But I think a lot of it is to do with the guilt of what happened when Rio was so young. And she has something to prove to herself that she can manage and do a, a great job raising the kids. She is worried and I don't, you know, what, how do you change that with somebody? Well, I'd like to give it a shot. Shall I shake your hand? Other hand. There you go. Look at me, like this. Have a good night. I've had a really good observation day today. I've been able to see a lot. I'll see you tomorrow, but do try and get some sleep. Okay. <laughs> All right. There is much that we need to talk about, and I'm hoping it's going to be received with an open heart, because I know these young parents are going to feel a little bit touchy with the raw truth of what needs to be said. Today's Teach One, I'm going to be doing a parental consultation with Justin and Amy. There is much to be done in this house. Mum is very controlling with the children when she puts a lot of pressure on herself. guys can just let go, then we'll be in a much better place. So are you going to go and play outside? The weather's beautiful. Yeah. All right, let's waste no time. How are you both feeling? So nervous. Huh? Mm -hmm. You're nervous? <laughs> yeah. Are you sweating? You're nervous. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to start with yourself, Amy, and your history with an almost, but not, fatal situation. And my question to you is, how long are you going to punish yourself for? Because only you are going to forgive yourself and recognise that you're not perfect and that it happens, Amy, to the best of us. And we know that that had a massive impact on your confidence, right? Yeah. The world is a scary place. But if we focus on that, mm -hmm. we wouldn't even go outside our front doors. Yeah. Like, seriously. It's yeah. about focusing on the positive. Yes, right? absolutely. Because right now, what you're doing is holding on and keeping everybody like this mm -hmm. and actually creating more of a problem. You're not only punishing yourself every day, but now you're like, I don't trust anybody else. There's so many things that I can't control, so any little thing that I can control, um, I want to. But sometimes we need to let go, Amy, because you tread in water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've more than your hands full. Mm -hmm. And you've got family members wanting to extend help. Yeah. Like, at what point do you go, I, I need help? Yeah. And it doesn't do anybody any favors <laughs> when it comes to the kids and what they need as well. Mm -hmm. So let me move on to that, because I do want to talk about the fact that you have no concrete routine. The 11.30 bedtime, that's bloody madness. Right. Because your core beliefs as a parent should be, my kids need to go to bed at this time, because I know that they need at this age yeah. 12 hours sleep. Mm -hmm. And I know that when you give them what they need, you get what you need. Mm -hmm. So your need, when you work so many hours, 
is to come home and to see him and want to play. And you'll have more energy for that once these kids are on a better sleeping schedule because you'll also get the rest you need. Mm -hmm. But it's got to be because of what they need. Mm -hmm. And Amy, you let Rio get away with too much. You have to show more confidence to get her to listen. And that is what I believe you truly need help with. And I'm absolutely willing to work on those things. Let's get busy. OK. Joe told me that I need to forgive myself for Rio's accident and that I need to let go of it a little bit. I think it's a little easier said than done, but the best things in life you have to work for and go through hard times for. So I hope this is one of them. So why don't we go over the routine? Okay. All right, Mum, let's have you put these boards up for me, please. The first step that I'll put in place will be a routine that they can follow through. At the moment, the kids will eat at different times, sleep when they say that they're tired, and it has become really overwhelming. Jack, come here but this routine will meet the needs of all of the children and give mum a moment of respite where she can just pace herself. So she's more efficient on her own when Justin's at work. Um, so what's gonna happen is it's 7 a.m. and they're having breakfast at the table. 8.30 to 9.30, uh -huh. playtime. Yeah. And you see it's the same time uh -huh. there. After the lunch time, all four go down for that afternoon nap. Okay. Yeah. And then we roll into dinner time. Bath time is play time. Absolutely. Yeah. It's the last pit of the day yeah. where it really is like splash and have some fun. And Dad, that's where you come in. Which means that around 7.30, all kids are in bed. Yeah. And you won't know what to do with yourself. No. <laughs> be great. You're like feeling liberated already, aren't I you? I feel, I just looking at it. <laughs> I can see it. So I think you can start following it tomorrow. I don't know how the time's going to work in terms of how much time I will have to spend with the kids, but I feel like the time that I will get is going to be a lot more, more well spent. Yeah, it's definitely quality. All right, good. So if we're happy with that, very happy. Then I am going to leave the children with you because I want to take Mum for an hour somewhere. Okay. I'm going to need you to grab a swimsuit. Oh my goodness. I don't know what Joe has planned, but I think it's not too hard. <laughs> Ready? Okay. See you later. Say bye. Bye. See you when you come back. Bye. I'm bringing Amy to her mother-in-law, Kathy's house. We've been talking so much about Amy treading water before she can ask for help. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Why not make her tread water and ask for help? What a delightful backyard. Uh. Thank yeah. you. I think I'm That's rather enticed to go for a swim. <laughs> there you go. Sometimes you've just got to make parents feel the experience. Can you just put your bikini on? Right. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. All right. So right now, I'll just have you get in this water here. I'm going to ask you to tread water until I say stop. Three, two, one. So, I was just telling Kathy here that you like to tread water. <laughs> and that somewhere along the line, you thought you was a mermaid. <laughs> because you kept putting your head under the water and you still weren't asking for help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep treading, kick those legs. I don't like treading water. You got this. That's really cool. Help. You want help? I can't give it to you, but she can. Oh. Hold on. I got something. Help. Oh, it's much easier with help. She's your lifesaver, right? Yes. This is a woman that you can depend on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I had no idea Joe was going to throw me in a freezing cold pool. It felt pretty miserable, but message received. But you see why I asked you, right? Yeah. Because Kathy just wants to hug no, and yeah. wants to nurture. <laughs> Tell me what you want to say. I think it's, I think it's lovely for her to hear this. Words. 
I mean, it's hard as a mom when you think who your boy's going to marry. I mean, I wouldn't pick anything but maybe. So. <laughs> no, I need a tissue. <laughs> Oh, I need a towel. <laughs> My makeup's gonna be running as well. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's a great mom, but she does need some help, and I'm here to help her. I know Justin and Amy. They need help, but I didn't want to be the mother-in-law that was gonna cause the problem. I think she was ready, and she knew I was here to help her. I love you so much, and <laughs> I'm so thankful for you. And it's just really nice to have someone like who we always know we can count on. Yeah, yeah. To me, help felt like a failure, but I definitely have realized that I don't need to tread water for 10 minutes before I ask for help. I can ask for help right away. We are teach day two today and I'm back helping the Sutherland family with the routine before I arrived. Free range parenting, very permissive. Kids go to bed when basically they drop. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hiya. So Justin, I'm gonna pull you back for a minute. Sure. You're not here, are you? Do you know what I'm Usually do right no. Now? I'm out of here. Yeah. Okay. I, I really need today to see Mum do it. It's important for Amy to practice the routine without Justin around, because let's face it, he's normally at work during the week and she's gonna need to learn to do it without him. See you later. Bye. Oh. <laughs> you're on your own. This would okay. be as if Dad's at Let's work go. and you're doing lunch time. Okay. All right? All right, yeah. Listen to me. Okay. <laughs> Remember high energy when they're all crying. You got this. All right, let's do it. Okay, okay. you ready? You're gonna take big boy bites. I want the routine to simplify the day for this mum because she's gonna be with all of them and she needs to feel good in herself that she can actually handle it and do what's necessary. <laughs> Sass. Mum! Chicken down. Now we need two more veggies. Whoa. Atta boy. That's it. You take a bite, show me your empty mouth. Amy's really great at giving that positive praise when Jet is doing as he's told. But Rio is showing real defiance, and that's where Amy needs to get a lot firmer. Rio, look at mommy. Rio, yeah, you need that look eye at contact. Me. Look at me. You're not done with dinner yet. No, mum, tone. As long as you're still like soft with her, mm -hmm. this one will run you amok. I need you to take another bite, okay? Rio. It's not a game. You, your plate stays here. Don't hold on to that plate. Okay. It literally, it's here. You put her hands down. Okay. Rio, look at me. Stop it. It stays there. You see that mm -hmm. tone? Mm -hmm. I'm not messing around. Yeah. Amy got into this place because she lets the kids lead and she lacks confidence in her parenting. She has to be able to use a tone that shows very firmly that she sets the agenda. <laughs> She can't get away with everything for the rest of her life mm -hmm. because of mm -hmm. an accident, all right? So it's, ah. look at mummy. Plate stays here. Hey, look at me. The plate stays here. You don't touch it. You want your spoon? Okay. Unless you're gonna use your spoon to eat, then you don't touch it. Okay. Then leave it. Ignore her. Carry on. Take a bite. Uh, mum, 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 mum. Right, she's eating. All right, yes, good. Yes, 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 good girl. <laughs> you took a bite, good girl. All right, that's what mummy wants to see. Good job, sissy. Here comes the airplane. Here comes the airplane. <gasps> Does that mean we're done? Yeah. I think we're done. Amy, you did amazing. Thank you. You did. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> this is what feeding four kids under the age of four looks like. Are you ready? Are you ready? What's on your schedule? 12.30. You're at nap time. And that says Amy's rest. <laughs> and you sound like you're ready, don't you? Yes. Oh, there's that one. Nico, Nico. You turn, big boy. So right now, the babies have gone down for their afternoon nap. Rio is exhausted. 
she's ready and she's gone down for her afternoon nap. This will be Jet's rest time and that will give mum the break that she needs. <laughs> through the morning, you cut through the morning. And it's like normally this time in the day is like the beginning and I have so much time left, but it's like... Exactly, this is your new norm. Yeah, yeah. All right, so just okay. do your thing. Okay. I'll keep an eye on Jet while you relax. It's nice to have free time as a new option, that's for sure. This is like a totally different household. I, quiet is not something I'm used to. It seems like the schedule is working. Yeah. Dad's just come from work and it's like, hey darling, this is your concentrated time with the kids. Talk to daddy. It's daddy's turn to play. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna play. Let's play at the water table. Says you come feel the water. Swim away, fishy, swim away. Already you can see the routine is had them in a place where they've been so efficient with their time, but now we can be in a space where dad can be with the older two and have concentrated time with them while mum baths the infants. It's nice to see him enjoying just coming home from work and seeing his babies, right? Turtle needs some water. Today's been a busy day, getting mum into the swing of doing it on her own, and now we're gonna be rolling into the bedtime routine. So what you can do tonight mm -hmm. is take Jet to your bed mm -hmm. and say, tonight you're sleeping in mummy and daddy's bed, but you will be going to your bed soon. But tonight, no crying, you're here to go to sleep. Jet doesn't sleep in his own bed and he stays up until 11.30 midnight. Well, used to. Now there's a new routine, which requires him to go to the bed at 7 p.m. And once he's adjusted, then we'll work on transitioning him into his own bed. You're gonna lay down in mommy and daddy's bed, and you're gonna go to sleep. And then you're gonna start sleeping in your big boy bed. I think Rio will be fine. Jet's gonna be the tough one. I hope he stays, I think he'll stay. What are you doing? No, nothing. Guys, chill with your husband, put the TV on. They had a really good bedtime routine. The two of them work well, perfectly. And then... Old habits die hard. Hey, you have to go to bed. Time, time, time. You have to stay in mommy's bed. That's what we talked about. No, no, mommy. This teachable moment is practice for mum to implement that tone that says, I'm serious, it's bedtime, so that Jet really does know the difference. There's no mixed messages then. Huh? Oh, he's right there. What's that? He's at the end of the hall. Did you see him? Where is he? Like, right now, it's like Mission Impossible. We've got, like, Jet coming out on the floor, like, sniper style. Every time he gets up, all he does is give you an opportunity to use your tone. Jet, it's bedtime. I told you to stay in mom's bed. Do it with his face. Eye contact. Look at me. Turn him around so he's not looking at the TV. It's bedtime. Let's go. Not time for play. Time for sleep. <laughs> there was a point where we would put him in his bed and, you know, he'd cry himself to sleep. He wouldn't get out. Yeah. And then when the twins came, it was hard to, to keep it going. You know, now with the time that you'll have with him in the afternoons and yeah. in the mornings and everything else, it's yeah. like, it's even kill. It's equal. It's fine. It's fair. Did he come out? You have to go back to bed. It's bedtime. I told you to go back to bed. Listen to me. You need to go back to bed. It's not funny. Let's go. Um, can I just say sight? Next time he comes out, don't even talk to him. OK. <laughs> that cry for me said that he took her seriously. Like, oh, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> OK. Now that cry is like, oh, I've got to do it. She's for real. Yeah. Is he sleeping? I don't know if he's sleeping, but he's being quiet and he's keeping his head on the pillow. I think Mum's doing really well. Really pleased that Chet went down to sleep. Mum adopted that firmer tone. 
Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. I don't normally do things all at once, and today we did a few things all at once, and definitely takes a lot of energy. But there's light, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like yeah. she's helping us. We're so close. We're getting really close We're at the so end close. of the tunnel. Thank you. It's teach day three, which is my final day of helping the family before they have a couple of days without me to implement the techniques they've been taught. Hello. You get a nappy. Oh, you get a nappy. So we're finishing up lunchtime and we're now moving into nap time. I want to see mum really get this routine down solid because dad's going to be back at work, in and out. Mum is going to need to feel very confident to continue moving forward with that routine by herself. Now these two. All right. Hey, princess. They've got their hands full, this family. Oh. My makeup. Your make let's change your diaper. My makeup. Yep. It's going to stay there. My makeup. No. Hey. That's not oh nice. That's God. not nice to touch my face like that. Oh my God. We'll get it, but we have to change your diaper first. No. Yes. Hey, All right, hey, nice. listen to this, listen to this. See that? Mm -hmm. Not okay. She's never going to stop with you saying it over and over again. She's just not. <laughs> Twice she's done that to you. Not okay. That's not allowed. The first time she does that, you put her down. Let her feel it for a minute and then say to her, you can come up here, but no pulling mummy's face or she'll be back down again. Come down to her level and let her know. Hey, I will pick you up. No firmer tone. You cannot. She just hurt you. It's not okay. It's not kind. Listen to me. I will hold you if you are nice and don't touch mummy's face. Can you nice say behavior. Only sorry, nice mummy? Behavior. Sorry, mommy. Real. Sorry, mommy. No. Okay, then that's fine. We're gonna get your diaper and we're gonna change you. I'm concerned that Amy's still struggling with this. Thank you for letting me change your diaper. <laughs> I think she's been really worried about gauging that tone so that it's not too severe. Love you. <laughs> Parents need to set these boundaries very early on. We have to teach empathy from a very early age. Are you pooping? Are you pooping, buddy? Howdy! <laughs> After talking to mum and dad about the importance of receiving the support that they do have, I've asked Kathy to come over so that she can talk to Amy and Justin about creating a new schedule that will work for all three of them. Um, so I got you over today because I thought, let's have a productive yeah. conversation about the practicalities of Look. your support, Look. you know, in okay. being able to help yeah, as best you can. We're okay. wondering if you could maybe help us take yeah. Sissy to swim once a week. Okay. If you can. And then taking Jet to the beach, maybe? I definitely can do that. What about a date night? Even if it's once every three weeks. Yeah, fine with me. To me, help felt like a failure, but I think it's gonna be good for the kids and I'm sure Kathy's gonna love it. It's gonna be a big step. Look what I got, bubble one. Come on then. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Oh. We've made a ton of progress. Um, you know, basically talking to my mom. It's not a conversation that I could have seen myself having before we talked to Nanny Joe. Oh, get him, get him! She's definitely opened up Amy's eyes to asking for more help and, and accepting the help when it is offered. Catch, catch! Get him, Jim! Whoa, big bubbles! All right, so I am leaving you okay. for a couple of days. You know I'm going to be watching. Mm, yeah. Yes, we do. And I do watch. I know, I believe it. Joe's not going to be here tomorrow, and I'm nervous because Justin is going back to work, and he's a crutch for me. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> and I'm ready no, you to are ready. You are ready. <laughs> Justin? Mm hmm. Until I see you when I get back. Yeah. Bye, babies. 
practice will be good. She's just been telling me I have to do it, I have to do it, and the more I do it, it's going to get better. I'll see you on my return. Yep. Hang in there together. All right. So I think I'll really finally get to see how I can do it on my own. Bye-bye. Today is my return day. I've been away for a couple of days. I will be doing a parental review to take a look at how they've got on whilst I've not been around. I hope they've been able to follow through on as much as possible with the routine. Angel's coming back today. We'll see what happens. Or I'm nervous. I think she's gonna be proud of me, but it's definitely a little bit overwhelming. Wait, wait, stay up there. Hello. Go in the living room and play. The parental review. I am interested to see it. <laughs> All right. So I left you talking about tone. Mm -hmm. Remember, that was so mm -hmm. important. And with Jet, you, you've got no problem in doing it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But we know Rio here mm -hmm. is, is that thorn for you, right? Yep. So I'm really hoping that you've made an improvement. All right, let's take a look here. You have to wait inside until I tell you you can come out. You, back inside, look at me. You don't come out until mommy says it's okay. Let's go. Rio, Rio. Rio. Rio is that nudge for you. You've mm -hmm. got to get past that. You've mm -hmm. got to get over that hump there. Mm -hmm. you got to go back and fight. You wait until mommy no. says so. You wait until mommy says it's okay to come out. No. Rio. 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 Look at me. You gotta go back inside. You wait until mommy no. says so. You wait until mommy says it's okay to come out. No. Listen to me. You go inside right now. No. You wait until mommy says it's okay to come out. Let's go. No. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> well done, Amy. You listen and you wait. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm so pleased. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at the routine. Oh. <laughs> He's out the hallway down the street. Oh, you got it down. Mama, <gasps> mama, mama, mama. No, thank you, baby. No, thank you, baby. What time is it right now? Oh, playtime. Mama, mama. Mommy. Oh, <laughs> they were so ready, I just gave them a bath in the bucket. <laughs> What jerko? Have you seen him? Oh, there he is. More quality time for Dad. That's really excellent. That was a good day. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good day. Um, generally, how is that routine working? That made everything so much easier for me. You were calm, mm -hmm. and it looks like you were prepared, mm -hmm. and you knew what you were going to be doing. Yeah. Remember when I first arrived? Kids in bed at 11.30 at night, 12, mm -hmm. just grazing throughout the day with mm -hmm. food and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huge difference. Huge Absolutely. difference. Done very well with this. That preparation and organisation is what's going to get you there every time. Yeah. Kathy, helping out. Nana coming over. It's date night. Oh, no, no, close your eyes, okay? Lovely. We just got back from our date. We walked and held hands and talked about our days without being interrupted. And I was like able to like wash my face and put on PJs. Didn't have to clean up food off the floor. <laughs> Did you have a nice night? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It was, it was really fun. nice. So asking for help did what for you both? It oh, it nice. gave us time together. Yeah. Well, it's life changing. Well done, the pair of you. Thank Good old teamwork, eh? Yeah. 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 Did great. It was great. So what I'm going to suggest tonight then is to do the bedtime routine and you'll put Jet down in his room tonight okay. so that you've got that down. Okay. Hey, let's go. Come on, sis. Let's go. 
When I first arrived, Jet wasn't used to sleeping in his mum and dad's bed every night. But now that he has adapted to the routine, they are ready to move on now to getting Jet into his own bed. First time it comes out, uh -huh. it's bedtime, darling. Bedtime. Okay. The second time, you state what it is, bedtime. The third and beyond, nothing. Zip it. Okay. Nothing. Mm. Okay. Don't even talk with your eyes like this, a Amy. <laughs> nothing. Okay. 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 I'm going to say goodbye to the kids now, but then I'm going to hang around just to make sure everything goes smoothly. Mm, it's been lovely meeting you, darling. So nice to meet you. Well. Nice to meet you. OK, so it's bedtime now. And the older ones are going off to bed. They're having stories read. And then going down. <laughs> oh, stay in your bed. No, you stay in your bed. I love you so much, but you need to stay in your bed tonight, OK? That's a good time. That's excellent. Nobody's asleep. Jet fell asleep in his own bed. He's never done anything on his own like that. So this is huge. He's grown. He's a big he's boy. He's grown. Next thing you know, he's going to be, be moving out. No. Oh. Don't even say that. Mm. Crosby and Tex and Jet Thanks. and Rio. Aww. We will Fabulous. miss you. <laughs> I feel a lot more confident. I feel like I have the tools. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Honestly, I think we were not expecting it to turn out this good. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, this family certainly learned a thing or two. Routine in play, a lot calmer. And when mum was willing to open up she was able to have the courage to walk forward and ask for help, which means my job is done here. I'm no longer needed. It's always a privilege to go into somebody's home, and this is what I love to do.